In this video, I will be explaining how to derive the sum to product and product to sum trigonometric identities. So at first, we will start with this one, product to sum, and then using these four formulas, we can actually find the sum to product version. So let's get started. As we can see, we have the multiplied version of these trigonometric terms at the left side, but we have an addition of these two terms, so that's why these are called product to sum. To derive these four product to sum identities, we need to use the compound angle formulas. We will start with the very first two equations. So if we just add them up, at the left side, if we add them, we get sine A plus B plus sine A minus B. And at the right side, sine A cos B, sine A cos B. So if we add them, we get 2 sine A cos B. And since these two are plus and minus, so we can just cancel them out. This is basically the first formula, you just need to change the sign. 2 sine A cos B, 2 sine A cos B equals sine A plus B plus sine A minus B. Similarly, we will be using the same equations, but instead of adding them, we will, we will subtract them. So subtracting them will change the sign of the second equation. We get a minus over here, minus and then a plus. So sine A plus B minus sine A minus B at the left side. At the right side, uh, sine A cos B minus sine A cos B. So this will be cancelled out. Cos A sine B plus cos A sine B. So that's 2 cos A sine B. So this is the second formula. 2 cos A sine B. So for the next two formulas, we have to follow the same process. But instead of sine, we need to select the cos related formulas. So these are the two equations, if we add them up, we get cos A plus B plus cos A minus B as in these two terms are added together on the left side and at the right side, these are cancelled out, you are left with cos A cos B, 2 cos A cos B, 2 cos A cos B, that's the third formula. And the last one where you have to use these two formulas but we need to use a minus sign over here so the second equation signs will be opposite so minus minus so cos a plus b minus cos a minus b and here we have cos a cos b minus cos a cos b so these are cancelled out minus sin a sin b minus sin a sin b so that's why minus 2 so this is the only formula where we have a minus if you do not want this negative sign here, you can shift that at the right side. In that case, it will be cos A minus B minus cos A plus B. So we are done with these four formulas, but to remember them, you can actually analyze the pattern. So whenever you are actually adding these two compound angle formulas, you will be getting the first part of the formula, 2 sin A cos B. But when you are subtracting them, you will get the second part, cos A sin B. Similarly, when you are adding cos compound angle formulas, in that case you will get the first part, cos A cos B. But when you need to deduct them, you will end up getting the second part, sin A sin B, but with a negative sign. These four formulas are used to actually derive the uh, product to some formula, right? You just need to change the side and that will give us the product to some version and To find the sum to product we will be using this four formulas. So if I label them as a B C D We will be using this four a B C D green formulas to derive the sum to product Sum to product so as we can see these are added together at the left side, but at the right side it's multiplied so that's why they are called sum to product. To derive the sum to product, we need to use the four formulas which I just labeled as A, a B, C, D. These four formulas. If we just look at the very first two formulas here and compare them, we have sine A plus B, sine A minus B, and we have sine B sine t so the thing is if we replace a plus b by p and 
a minus b by q. In that case, at the right side, we need values for a and b so that we can replace them also, right? So comparing those two equations, we will just select a plus b as p and a minus b as q and we will solve this two simultaneous equations suppose this is equation 1 and 2 we will just solve this two simultaneous equation to get the value for a and the value for b which we can replace here so equation 1 equation 2 if you add them up this will be cancelled out a plus a will give us 2a p plus q at the right side subjecting a will give us p plus q divided by 2. So that's the value for a. Similarly, if we just use those two formulas, but instead of plus, if we use a minus sign over here, the signs will be opposite minus a and plus b minus q. So a minus a gets cancelled out, then b plus b will give us 2b. We have p minus q at the right side. So subjecting b from this equation will give us B minus Q divided by 2. So this is the value for A and B. So now we have four values as in A plus B is P, A minus B is Q. Then we have the value for A, we have the value for B. All these four values need to be replaced here. So this is the first formula, this one. So a plus b will be replaced by p, a minus b will be replaced by q. So this will give us sine p plus sine q. And at the right side we have 2 sine a. Instead of a we will use p plus q by 2. And instead of b we will use p minus q by 2. So this is actually the first formula. So basically from a plus b and a minus b we just calculated the value for a and b and substituting all the four values into the first equation actually get us this sine p plus sine q formula. So if you need to find the second one you have to substitute this four value in the second formula to get sine p minus q for the third and fourth cause related ones we have to substitute the values in these respective equations. So this is the end of the series of derivation videos. I hope that was helpful.